Today on Let's Get Weird, we're getting weird with a kid punishment for Grand Theft Auto V, a big order gone wrong, a sinful possum, I think I spelled possum wrong, and a rubber chicken robbery. Plus, this week's big topic involves finding out what sport we think we would be the best at if we had a pinch hit and we were a Zamboni driver. <laughs> Hopefully you're ready, because it's time to get weird! It's about to get weird. Be prepared for it to get weird. Things are gonna get weird. It's getting weird! I'm gonna get real weird with it. Let's get weird! Let's get weird! Let's get weird! Let's get weird with Hoodie Air, Kevin, and Saran! Yatch! I'm ready! So is I. Yo estoy listo! I'm ready! Well, hopefully you're ready because you're listening to the 26th episode of... Let's, Let's get, get weird! weird. 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 Out. Edit the crap out of that file. Oh, That's all right. It's a little hot. It's okay. <laughs> a little hot. We were loud. Who's the hottest in the room? Me, probably, because right. I'm standing because my bum knee. Right, well, I'm married, so I'm, I'm, out, I'm out the ranking. <laughs> yeah. You can still be hot and married. No, you can't. All right. That sounds weird. I'll take back that statement. <laughs> I'm go, so I'm going to Disney World next week, and when I go to Magic Kingdom, I'm dressing as a dad. I'm wearing white shoes. With socks pulled Stop. up. Stop. Tucking my, my shirt into my shorts. No. You gotta wear a plaid. Clip and a fanny pack. You gotta Get wear out. plaid. Get out right now. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be ridiculous, Kev. I'm so excited. Um, You're gonna be so dad. Let's introduce everyone first before we call uh. out. So that was obviously Kevin. Yes. Um, I'm Hoodie. Yes. I'm Saran. Yes. And you I'm are. I'm just yes. Limpy. I'm Eric. Limpy. 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 Eric Rodriguez. Eric. I tore my Limpy quadriceps Rodriguez. tendon, people, in my left knee. Quadriceps tendon. Um, but uh, thank you for not uh, sparing with us. We didn't do an episode last week because Eric was hurt and so yeah. we didn't know what we were doing. And Saran was throwing up, so that's yeah. okay. All I'm saying is well, Triple H tore his tendon and he finished the match. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> but every really? week we bring you the weirdest news stories from around the world and universe, and try to compete to see who has the weirdest story and be the weird champion for the rest of the week. And if you win said week, you get to go first the next weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, because we didn't have one last week, the, the polls and the stats have resetted. Yep, I'll go first this week. But at the end of the top, end of the sort of show, we do a big topic where this week involves. You hear that, that Zamboni driver last week who filled in to be an NHL hockey Yes, I did. For the first time? No. Saran, you were here when we talked about it. So <laughs> I just remember hearing Zamboni. 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 <laughs> That's, a Zamboni. Great name. That's a great word. I want some Zamboni. Um, we're gonna see who what we think we'd be what sport we'd be ideal at if that situation happened to us. Can't so if wait. we had to fill in for all the quarterbacks are gone. All the shortstops, all the volleyball people. LeBron James fell down the steps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Ron, can you help us? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out that in 20 minutes, but I'll go first with this week's story. And mine involves a video game known as Ye Old Tale of Grand Theft Auto. Kevin, Eric, and maybe Saran. Mm-hmm. When did you guys first play... Grand Theft Auto, or like an adult game that you probably shouldn't have played. I Man. downloaded the very first one illegally on my computer. How old were you? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Eric. Uh, I think I, I'm uh probably around the s- eighteen. No, sixteen or seventeen. Oh, okay. He was pretty. Normal. I played San Andreas when I was eleven as well. Yeah. So, Saran, did you play any Grand Theft Auto no. before? No. Oh, wait, well, have you played like any adult game that you probably should, or seen a rated R movie that you shouldn't have seen because you were like ten? Oh yeah. Like what was the one you can remember. Um, what is it? The Hills Have I. Oh, oh God, that movie is really inappropriate. I still haven't seen that. That's yes. scary. That movie is scary. Yeah. That movie is scary. Exactly. <laughs> well, uh, this. Oh, my story holds from the jolly old land of London. Oh, here we go. Back to the story. Uh, Back across so, the pond. Police in Blackpool have have arrested an 11 year old and father that they caught behind the wheel of a car that was simply being given a driving lesson slash punishment in an attempt to stop him playing on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so essentially, the dad Ow. was tired of his son playing Grand Theft Auto so much and talking back to him like, oh, I can drive, I can do this. Right, right. Because they have a sort of ident- similar car in the video game yeah. to do with his family's car. Oh. And so he was like, all right, son, you want to talk shit? Get behind the wheel. We're going for a spin around. <laughs> wow! The and he's an 11 year old. So get in the car now. Like, right. you get first, in the club, I, Lloyd. I started first driving like 15. Kevin, I was 12, and I almost backed my co- dad's van to the house. All right. Well, yeah, well, there's a lot of legal driving over here too. So let's let's keep moving. All right. Well, I guess keep that's moving. The only legal person. <laughs> keep um, moving, hoodie. But apparently, cops found him on a highway in Blackpool, England, um, and they're told that. Uh, when they were talking to them, they did that, the 
dad had become so fed up with his obsession, he took him out in the real car and put his PlayStation 4 in the car, and his dad held on to the PlayStation 4 controller. Wow. He was driving. He's like, all right, what do you do? All right, I go left on the stick. All right, you turn left this time. You take a right this time. <laughs> Pop quiz, hot uh, shot. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, what do you police do? Police pulled him over. Obviously, the 11-year-old wasn't arrested, but the adult was reported for traffic offenses after they saw him in the car and the 11-year-old in the driver's seat. What, what does that matter? My wife's calling me. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. it's all right, Kevin. So Kevin's video blacked out for a little bit. Kevin yeah. forgot, do not disturb is your best friend on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Don has pink eyes. That's why I have it on. Yes. Oh, Aww, cool. yeah. poor um, girl. But yeah, so the, the dad was reported for traffic offenses. He got tickets and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Kevin, your, your wife... She's dedicated towards yeah, you. Yes, she is. Hopefully she's like, we can't ruin our Disney trip. Please, no. Um, but yeah, so the 11-year-old got a cool punishment. And now mm-hmm. he can say, I drove a car at age 11. I'm ready for this driver's license test. That's genius, though. Yeah. That's a genius thing for a dad to do. I will do that with my son any day of the week. Are you mm-hmm. kidding me? It's teaching them how to be responsible at a young age. And you know what? Let's learn how to drive. Yeah. Why not, right? <laughs> and if you ever need to drive me home one day, why not? Right? I mean... Max could drive you right now if you oh, want to This damn leg. Dad, get in the back seat. We're taking the forerunner. We're going. <laughs> We're going off road and son. Here we go. I cannot. Here we go. I can drive the pedal car. <laughs> the yellow and red pedal car. I can drive you. Let's go. His little big wheel. I've the pedal car. I never had one as a kid. You have? No, I never. I mean, do you want that for your birthday? I mean, it could be a little big for it. Yeah, you know. might crush it, Kev. Actually, they make big kid big wheels. Big kid, be wheels. Yeah. Yeah, but it's for I, I want kid, one. kid there, not adult. Kevin's a kid. We're large, kids at heart. Large, yeah. adult, large adult, large wheels. Large adult, large wheels. Actually, you know what I did the day before my, my, my daughter was born? I spent the entire day at Towson Mall playing Pokemon Go. And you did when she, when your wife was in labor as well. Exactly. Well, I have to ask you guys a question off <laughs> off the topic about Pokemon, because I almost watched the Pokemon movie on Netflix, and I almost oh, called you guys. We're, we're, we're going to review it. Are you this okay? So yeah. I almost watched it yesterday. I was like, I got to call Kevin and Hoodie real quick. Like, hey, you should stop on by for the podcast. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Saron. Yeah. No, you're fine. Watch it with us, Saron. Join the crew, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, but that was my tale of uh, GTA punishment gone wrong. Kevin, mm-hmm. let's go to you with S- your sinful possum. So my story comes out of the wonderful town of Waukesha, Wisconsin. It's near Green Bay. Wakanda, Wakanda, Wakanda Wisconsin is what Wakanda. you just said. Wakanda. We're going to call it Green Bay because that's what it's near, basically. Okay. I'm, uh-huh. What I'm gathering from this news article. So you guys, you, you've seen like the, the sad sight of like a possum or a stray cat on the side of the road that's kind of just flattened. Yeah. Yes, it's sad. And you drive by, he's like, man, that, that sucks. That possum had a family, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, this woman saw it and decided to get out of her car and tell the possum to repent, for the day of the Lord is at hand. <laughs> she, but the repent, possum Lord. was dead. She poured holy water on it, and they were, she was yelling at it. <laughs> wow. Trying to exercise yeah. some demons? I guess so. I mean... Wizard. Guess possums go to heaven too. We all go, okay. all, po- all dogs go to heaven. Yeah, all dogs go to heaven. Duh. Four, so. They made four of those movies. I think they did. They did. They yeah. Four. I thought I've only seen the first one. Are they all on Disney Plus? No, yeah. I don't think it's Disney. Was that Disney? Oh, is that Fo- oh, been, Fox? Well, then again, if it's Fox, it might be on there anyway. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Kevin, continue making. Yeah, and so she she begins to um, what they call it proselytize. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't. No. no, no. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Jesus continued to try, try to get this pos- this dead possum to repent until a cop pulled her over and told her to stop and didn't arrest her, just sent her about her, her way for the rest of the day. I wonder if this is the same lady that yeah. was making uh, waves, I think, on like last last month on the internet that was telling. Yelling at that guy in the Walmart, calling him an accuser of the faith, because she sounds like she's from that area of America. Oh, so I'm God. thinking this might be the same lady. She's just she's, accuser of the faith. She's accuser of the faith. Oh jeez. She kept she cursed out everybody in the Walmart basically. How can you do that at Walmart? Leave those people at Walmart. It's alone. Walmart. <laughs> Leave them alone. It's already Walmart enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> Quick, run, run. Walmart or Target? I'm Target. Walmart. Ooh, Target. Target all day. Yeah. Only thing I'm going to tar- Walmart for is, is like athletic work. It's really it's really really cheap. Yeah. Like seven bucks for a but workout shirt. Cool graphic tee, I'll go to Target. Target. <laughs> All more variety. All day Target. One thing about Target, basically, lately, the one by me, their, their graphic tee section is not How clear. How you? It's the only thing I wear. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> it's like shirt here, shirt there, shirt here. I'm like, can you guys organize this? Just Takes too long. Takes too long. No. 
Takes That's their long. job, Eric. It's not their job. Their that job is, the, is to help you. No, just because of that, you go next. All right, fine. <laughs> so, a McDonald's in Toronto and a man ordering a bagel with cream cheese. Something out of your playbook that you get a bagel with extra cream cheese on your sandwiches. So, okay, backstory here real quick, people. <laughs> There's a place called Izzy's, and we get bagels mm, every bagels. once in a pla- one, once in a while. And I like to get a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with cream cheese on it. Try it and let me know what you think. It tastes incredible. An old intern of mine, Andres, told me about it. So try it out. You get the cream cheese on first, then they put the sausage and the and the egg and the cheese on top of it. Is this like the the, the butter on pop tarts phenomenon? That's like oh, apparently it's amazing. That. What? It's weird. Yeah, the new trend that Bobby Bones has started is butter on. Pop tarts. Well, it wasn't him actually. It was a Family Guy like four years ago. He actually sung a song about it. Oh. <laughs> no. So, anyways, a guy named uh, Brian something was Brian asked something. was working at a McDonald's in Toronto. He could say a fume, he yeah. say it. Brian P was asked uh, to you know was a, he's an employee of the Mc- McDonald's and someone came up and asked for a bagel with cream cheese. I did not know McDonald's had bagels with cream cheese. By the way, did not know that. Very yeah, specific. Where was it? In Toronto, in Canada. Oh, maybe it's a. Canada thing. Maybe. Canada, eh? Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. Well, the guy complained and said that he wanted to have more cream cheese, asked for a little more cream cheese. And so Brian decided to load this man up and took a photo of it. He basically made it look like a Big Mac Ew. of just cream cheese in between the two pieces of bagel. Show them. Show them. The photo went all like, around Ew. the internet. Look at that. Look at oh, that. Oh, it looks like an accident. Exactly. And so everybody now wants to have Ooh, the- Look at that. Now our audience can see. Yeah. 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 It's called the monstrosity. Oh, the monstrosity or the mic 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 monstrosity. Mixtrosity? Oh, yeah, the mixtrosity. <laughs> so, and look at that. Look at that photo right there, guys. Oh god, look at that one. Mm. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, no. That's so, like a week's worth of cream cheese literally. on one bagel. You could probably die from that. So that's I can, the way to go. Yeah, I can. My man Brian decided to float up the cream cheese with the bagel for this young gentleman. I can honestly say I've never had cream cheese a day in my life. What? Right? You've no. never had cheesecake? I don't like cheesecake. Get out. All right. Get out. You know, you know my favorite cake is? My favorite cake Stop. of all time Stop. is plain yellow birthday cake from Giant. <laughs> oh, go, we got some cake over there. Go try it. It's like fourteen ninety nine. It's like sheet cake. You cut it in squares. That's the best cake in the world to me. You're an idiot. You got some voice. Oh, it was Saron, moist. It was moist. Next, please. All right, guys. Can you go next? I can't stand Kevin right now. <laughs> no worries. So my story is out of Toronto as well. Oh. Well, I mean, not Toronto. I lied. I lied. In Canada. No. Oh. And it's from uh, Tim Hortons. So, Ooh. Yeah, it's fancy. But, so, well, it's not that, oh. it's not that it's fancy. Ooh. But they're pretty legit. Yeah, but it's, it's got some good shit up in there. Ooh. So Saron. basically, basically, this guy went in there with a rubber chicken. <laughs> He puts it over the donation box and walks out with the donation box and his rubber chicken. So he basically stole. What, $23? No, like the damn it's money, donation. man. Like, you know, where they ask for like kids. Yeah, yeah, but blah, 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 blah. It's, always, it's always like pennies. six pennies and like four quarters, and that's it. Money's money, baby. Yeah, Gary Vaynerchuk tell you, you got it. That's how you got to make money. Just take money, man. Come on now. <laughs> Here, you know what I'm so basically that's what he did. He's been so they're looking for him. And let me read you guys the description. So he's described as Caucasian. Ah, he's wearing wow. a blue sweater or Ooh, jacket oh. and a black uh ball I don't know, blah, 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 blah. A beanie? No, it's like ball I thought it was no, I don't know. Bob slip? Oh, no. is it ba- oh, it's, it's the like weird B-A-L-A- name for a ski mask. A- Oh, balaclava. Bala, 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 yeah, it's like balaclava. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's um, the actual name for a ski mask. Really? Yeah, huh. and he's holding a rubber chicken. So if anyone is in the Toronto area, yeah, anyone sees a rubber chicken, so the rubber, rubber chicken, chicken neck is straight, but then the body looks like a big box inside yeah, of it. So right? the picture, like on the article, the picture was like he was holding the chicken, <laughs> like the chicken's biggest shit. The, he put it over the box, like me putting it over this box, and then just like walking out <laughs> with it, like oh. This is, you know. So I saw um, the Rock Baywatch movie the other day. Oh, it's so great! It's hilarious. Like so that. great. They have a, um, a cooler where like they uh, oh they drop, they drop it over the purse, it, pick something up, yeah. And thing. It sounds like the same thing. It's a with false bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, that's what my story is. They're still looking for him. So if they have any, if you have, have I ever been to a Tim Hortons? No. No, yeah. they're mostly Canada and Minnesota. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, there's actually one in Tampa. Really? Way to really? Clearwater Beach. Yeah. There's hmm. one in Tampa because a lot of the snowbirds come down to Tampa. I had a I had a really fat guy dream the other night. They opened up a White Castle and a Whataburger in Baltimore. I was really excited. Wow. And then I woke up. I want to have a Whataburger. I've never had a Whataburger. Whataburger's so good. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Is yes. It, they have one in Philly, too? 
No, that's a burger. Oh, that's Walla Burger. What's a Walla Burger? Are you talking about Wall Burger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he gets it. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg? <laughs> Wahlberg is oh, so I love you. I love you so much. Just... Well, English is just your suit, man. <laughs> I'm working on it. That leads us to our big topic where we find out what sport is really our suit because... Grande Topico. Today's big Great. topic. Big topic. Grande. No, topico Grande. No, top grand, yeah. Why is it always backwards? It's backwards in Spanish. That's yeah. how it is. That's how it is. It's right. the grandest topic, not yeah. topic grand. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, we is actually involves a real life story that actually happened that you know yep. they're probably gonna make into a Disney movie because it sounds like a Disney movie. Right? No, it's gonna be like a, invincible. It's gonna movie. be a. It's like no. It's gonna be a, a 15 episode, one hour Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so an emergency backup goaltender named David Aris uh, mm-hmm. actually uh, was a Zamboni driver for the Toronto Maple Leafs was named an honorary Northern Carolinian because he played backup, ba- backup, 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 backup mm-hmm. for the Hurricanes when they played the Maple Leafs at home um, about last week. Yeah, two weeks ago. So apparently um, the Hurricanes are going to play the Tehran, the Maple Leafs, and the guy is just normally the arena Zamboni driver. Turns out he goes to practice with the team every so often. Mm-hmm. There's this rule in the NHL that you have to have an emergency backup. Every home team has to have an emergency yeah. backup goalie in case both goalies for either team gets knocked out due to injuries. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So this one is a Zamboni guy. He also is sort of like ran the backstage crew of everyone, like if they had concerts or anything. And oh, okay. So kind of, mm-hmm. so kind of and so like I used to I used to be a roadie for like six months. And the, like the relative dude of that, my dude was like 80 years old and he smoked a lot. I was like, there's no way he could be a goal. I don't, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> we got put, got put up Disney on ice tonight. Come on. <laughs> um, so both the Hurricanes goaltenders left, uh, this is two Saturdays, game in Toronto with injuries. Mm-hmm. And this led them to take a brief pause and like, what do we do? What do we do? Bring in the Zamboni drive. I hope they yep. entranced him like he was on the Zamboni. With smoke. <laughs> it was or like, dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. that or he was like zamboni in between periods. And with like, the hey, we, gear on. we need you to get off the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped high-tailed off the Zamboni. Um, but so they, um, he played, he got a Hurricanes jersey and helmet featuring the decals. And uh, he stopped eight of ten shots to get credit yep. for the Hurricanes' six to three win. Wow! Currently, as of right now, the oldest goaltender in, in NHL history. Yeah. So he's still playing. So they oh, have he's, him? He's still the emergency game. guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the one game made him the oldest yeah. at forty-two goaltender ever. Well, yeah, it's, it's like like Toby Keith's song. I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm good once as I ever was. Yes. <laughs> so you can do it once. You've been listening to way too much country. It's songs. a good song. <laughs> Okay, keep telling yourself that. <laughs> keep telling yourself uh, but that. he gets to keep the jersey, had his name on it. It was pretty dope. Yeah. Hall of Fame. <laughs> he has a record now. One and zero. Thousand. I'm undefeated, baby. <laughs> he stopped. Yeah, he's 80. percent He stopped eight of the. Si- he stopped ten of eight shots. 80. percent I think wow. he got yeah. paid 500 bucks for the one yep. game. That's it. Which you just get my bonus contract. Like, dude, hey, the well, king. I mean, yeah. You know, well, this was in addition to his normal salary. As oh, good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Dude, only 500 bucks are stepping in for an NHL hockey game. Yeah. If you get knocked out, who's gonna pay for that insurance? Not the team. Hurricanes is that's Charlotte, right? Or North Carolina. Uh, the Carolinas. North Carolina. yeah. 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 Um, so my question with this is for you guys, and I told Kevin this a little bit before, is what sport do you think you would be a good emergency backup for? Well, it's not a sport, but that's, that's basically your last week, by the way. Yes. Well, yeah, <laughs> the whole the past you, two weeks. Because somebody wanted to slide down a hill. <laughs> um, I had to fill in for Eric. So obviously... That's your job. We're doing sports in this situation. That's a good call. I didn't even. That's why I picked this. <laughs> yeah, Literally. Like, oh, maybe that's why. So, Saran, what sport do you think you would be the best emergency backup for? Yeah, it doesn't have would, to be the yeah. traditional four of baseball, basketball, so- cricket, uh, football, soccer, badminton. Hockey. Badminton. Ooh. I don't know. I would just maybe softball for sure. Yeah? yeah. All right. Dope. Did you play? Yeah, I did. What position? Oh. I Left was- out? No, Ooh, I was a right uh, second base and oh. I pitched sometimes. Oh, I have a really good arm. I'll knock your ass out. Oh, <laughs> is, that, is that for real or what, girl? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, so when's the last time you played softball? Last May. Oh, actually. so we're pretty oh. recent. Yeah. Okay. And I All hit right. that ball out the park. 
Oh. Are you serious? I'm, I'm being so was, serious, you guys. Was this like a wreck or was this a It was, lead? Um, no, it was just I filled in. Not Like they were coaching and they were like, can you hit some balls out for like, them? Oh, yeah. I, I like, can't. Oh, oh, Sarong got the bat. And here, I hadn't baby. played Sarong's since like, high school. Where's my warm up music? Yeah, yeah. I got my walk up song. I'm telling you. And <laughs> is this fast pitch? No, I'm not fast it's, pitch. I mean, okay. it's underhand. It's yeah. however yeah. fast you go. It's fast pitch. Is, I can't hit a fast but pitch softball. I haven't pitched in forever, but I definitely, like, my aim is so on point. Okay. So don't fuck right. with I mean, second base means you got good re- you. reaction to <laughs> <Love> it. <you. laughs> All right. Now, uh, Kevin, what do you think you would be a good emergency backup for? I think I could survive two downs as a running back. Maybe. Two? <laughs> yeah. A third down now, back? <laughs> pass out the back? At Kevin. your current height, current age, current weight. Do you think you'd be a good running back? That's why I said two down. I didn't say a game. <laughs> <laughs> also, keep in mind, those two downs don't have aren't running plays. They're right. just passing, passing plays. plays. I'm just pass blocking. I'm, I'm going to trip somebody get, get the penalty. Like, hey, you didn't get set. So, I mean, what, what do you want from me? That's like me saying I could be a great third down pass rush defensive end specialist when I knew it was a third and 15, and I'd have to run around the tackle but, to get But the you sack. did it, man. Come on, Kev. Yeah, I think I, I think I could fill in for a running back. Passing down situation, Kevin's in the backfield only. Passing down, actually, I'm, I'm a little better with my hands than going in between the tackles. So, uh, passing so, down, so yes. So, wheel route, that's all you can do? Wheel route, I can hit a quick slant. Hey, yeah. layman's terms, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, can run in, I, can run in, I can run in a half circle. I can run yeah. on a quick end. There you go. Yeah. Um, Slanty. That's about it. Baseball, I've, I've lost my baseball skills, I think. Most, really? Mostly, yeah. I you lose baseball skills. I used, play, I, used play, hobby. I used to play third, and third, that's something the that you, you don't practice. You got to be you gotta be playing third a lot. Arm to first, too. Yeah. You got to have the, the fast reflexes. Because that ball's coming hot. Hot, hot corner. <laughs> so I, I would say between running back and football and probably playing either shortstop or third base, mm-hmm. I would say would be the ones – I could fill in at a pinch and hopefully not die. Well, I can't do anything right now. Well, so screw all of you. your current state. So two weeks ago, <laughs> pre Hill, pre Sunday Pre-Hill. night, <laughs> I, could, I could definitely do some baseball. First, short, outfield. Can't do catcher. Can't throw. Can you hit? I can hit. Can Lay down a bunt and run, baby. There you go. That's like a counts, baby. Uh, Four football, balls equals a walk. I think football. I would love to be a defensive lineman. I think I could go a couple, a couple, a uh, couple of. Uh, Couple of downs, couple of series. Couple of downs. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you got the, the girth, the, the the width. I know. I got the yeah. width, and I got you know the low center of gravity. That yeah. helps. You know, I just needed the speed like Aaron Donald, and I would have been an NFL defensive end. Well, no, what you call it? Slow. Calais Campbell ain't that fast. Who? It could have been him. Who? Oh, yeah, no, Here we go. We're going to sports. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> hand, hand work, baby. Hand Come on now. I might fall over doing it while I'm standing, but it's okay. Oh, hurts. I can play rugby. I think. No. No, you've never played rugby. Kevin, you, you couldn't do rugby right back now. Back up to a sport you've no. never played. No, rugby. Uh, I'm cocky, not rugby. <laughs> that joint is, that's legit right it's, there, bro. Is the saying that you could be like Mike in the movie, where you're like, "All right, we need to want to play rugby." With I just, just, just want to play. Dollars. I just want to play for the New Zealand team and do the cool hakas they do before the game. Dude, those things are legit. <laughs> those are New Zealand. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the All Blacks, the New Zealand All Blacks. Like, what are you doing? Got I'm like, yeah, kill them all. <laughs> yeah, the war chance, man. <laughs> hakas before the game. Mm-hmm. Mm. What about you, Hoodie? What, 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 what uh, you playing? I think I, I need to be emergency backup easily, and it's my 757 Virginia Beach in me. Mm-hmm. Volleyball, easy. Ooh. Volleyball's fun. I now, I know it. like professional volleyball is really more like Olympics, some, what, summer games, whatever. Um, if they have it this year. And then I guess sometimes there's like some leagues or whatever. But I think they're pretty good. Like, I could at least, you know, serve. Mm-hmm. Everyone mm-hmm. could serve. You know, I can't you serve. You hit the ball. And then I could probably spike it a little bit and compete with some little bit of people. You know what I definitely cannot play? Tennis. Tennis is a hard that sport, is so man. so hard. Yeah. Anything that requires to run back and forth, I'm good. Shocking. So any, <laughs> any sport? Any sports? Basically, I mean. Chess. <laughs> I played tennis for the first time like three years ago with my cousin. And luckily, there was nobody else on the tennis court. We were mm. using all three courts. We couldn't figure out how to oh keep the ball God. in one court. How do you do this? <laughs> so we run it up and down the courts. Oh, you want to play? No, sorry. We're taking all three courts. <laughs> oh, you know what else I can do? I can do team handball. What's that? Oh, that's Handball is well, not, prof- not really professional. It's an Olympic it's sport. It's professional in Europe. It's an Olympic sport. So maybe, in Europe, if I'm not if I'm at the Olympics and something happens, I'm like, hey, I can do it for America, and I'll come down. I don't have coronavirus. Water polo. <laughs> Couldn't do that for the. the no, water I, no, that, you're I'm drowning. Done. Done. I can't float, so I couldn't do water polo either. <laughs> Men float, you idiot. I, 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 the dead I, man float. We float up. I sink. Women don't float. I sink. Right or women women float reverse. Right. 
Sure, yeah. Uh, Science! Science! Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us. You get to decide who is the weird champion this week, whether it was Kevin with his sinful possum, <laughs> so Ron with her uh, rubber chicken robbery, mm-hmm. Eric with his extra cream cheese gone wrong, or my grand theft auto punishment that involved Oof. police. Good one, good um, one. Let us know and tell us what you think you would be a good backup uh Ultimate Frisbee or something. Oh, that's a good Ooh. One. <laughs> um, I could. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I guess you could be a horse jockey. Really, you just gotta get on the horse. Horse no. is doing all the stuff. I would crush the poor little horsey. <laughs> we, we would be friends and sing songs. I wouldn't write it. Write it though. There you go. Um, but tell us what you think you'd be a good backup sports filler in for. Um, you can follow me at Andrew Hoodie. You can follow Kevin. I'm sorry, MZOT, 3KK. I was talking about Eric uh, doing stuff. Eric. <laughs> At Mr. Eric V, M-R-E-R-I-C-K-V. And you can follow Saron. At S-A-R-O-N-N-N. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, it's okay to be weird. It's definitely okay to be weird. It got weird, didn't it? Yeah.